So welcome back. This is our third little part of our first week of pre-recorded lectures. And again, I'm Professor Randy Schuster and going to give you a quick explanation now of what to do this week. So let's take a look. Uh, as always, uh, 320 and 330 are essentially the same this week. And um, if you just click on the calendar from the home page, you'll come come to this spot, and um, you see that the first thing to do is watch the pre-recorded lectures, which are now being put onto the weekly topic videos and online lectures. So there they are. I got a little formatting problem there that I'll fix up. And the topic videos being welcome to the class. And um, uh, watching the pre-recorded lectures can take you anywhere between uh, 20 and 40 minutes. And same with the topic videos. So um, there's, there's a bit of watching of stuff to do. Normally it won't be this heavy on that. It'll be more practice. Okay, so let's take a look. It says to watch those. They are posted every Monday on... Is an event on the calendar. Once you watch those, go ahead and visit Canvas Module Zero, the course orientation. And I've given you a link to it. It'll go right to it. So here's your Design 321 Module Zero. 330 looks exactly the same. And uh, there are things to read and things to do. So this is in addition to watching those videos. Let's just take a look. Uh, here's a, just a welcome message. Um, the indigenous land use statement is actually very important. Please read it through carefully. And you can even click on this and go find out where, um, where, where, what's going on where you live. Okay, so let's see. Our, I'm trying to find San Francisco Bay. Right around in here somewhere. Uh, but we're sort of right over in here. Okay, so this is kind of cool. You can go ahead and find out who um, is important from living in the area. Here's here's San Francisco Bay right here. Okay, and so this is just kind of a cool thing. And, and it's really good to reflect on this, please. Um, there's some very nice things happening at our college for our... Um, indigenous traditional um, natives that have been tribal nations that have been living here. Uh, you should check out the YouTube playlist. You've probably already done that. Get to know Canvas. Kumo Space. Check out these little videos. They're short. This is, this is where you're going to go for labs, maybe to talk to me, maybe to talk to me. And then I want you to skim the syllabus. When you skim something... You just sort of look at what's included and you go look for highlights. Oh, there's Design 320, a description. Okay, that's good. And, oh, look at all those student learning outcomes. Uh, there's something about the calendars that you know about. This one's important, the grading system. Woo, that'll be important. Academic honesty. So that's how you go ahead and skim it. That's really all that's asked for. Just look at the heading. And then go to the next page. There's the next button right there. Click. And you can you can read through all of this good information about high flex courses, um, which is what we're doing, what this course covers. Of course, in Design 330, it covers the Design 330 stuff. Uh, how to get started. Here's the mind meister for this. You know, what to do. You, you want to get going now. What do you want to do? So there's how to get started. What to do, what to do, what to do. Uh, it's read the syllabus. Okay, the syllabus is like your contract with me for learning in this course. So you want to really look through it and see what's going on. There's some information in general, and here is your syllabus. So you're going to 
either click on this and click on this. This is just an image of one from the past. Uh, but but you'll get to, and it says you get to make your own copy of it. What do you know? So if you click on that, you get to go to a copy of it. Okay, I might change that. I think I'll actually change that. So it just goes to this as a view only. And there it is in good detail. And now you're going to read it in detail. You're going to watch the videos. You're going to go to the links. You're going to make sure that you have, you really understand what this class is about. Okay, so that's what you want to do there. Next. Uh, check up on your tech requirements. Okay. Uh, make sure that you can get to AutoCAD and SketchUp and Revit. The easiest way is to go to our VMware, but you may wish to do it on your own. Make sure that you've got headphones and a mic so that if you're talking with me, we don't get feedback on your computer. And just some other additional things to think about. Now, I'm not a computer tech geek, um, and so I'm not able to help you with many computer tech problems. I'm a software geek. I can really show you how to use a lot of software. Um, but if you're having computer problems, you might want to check out our computer lab. Um, go over to student services or something like that. Um, um, we'll, we'll help you get to the right place. Your home-based coach is your best resource. You are supposed to have a home base canvas site assigned to you it's not a course it's not anything like that um but if you contact your coach and say i have a problem i need help here's what it is it's their job to get you to the right resource okay the next one is okay online class meetings and discussions uh i generally think most people do run horrible meetings i try not to um, I have been at good meetings, so you can look this over and see what the, see what the rules are and how to do things and some of the etiquette. This is really important that you read or you watch my videos on professionalism because that is a truly misunderstood word. Uh, well, maybe not misunderstood, but certainly misused and often it's used to sort of, um, denigrate people. And that's not what professionalism is. And so you can read a little bit about what I believe for professionalism. And it's not just me. I, I go by the um, Association of Professional Engineers, National Association of Professional Engineers. And um, theirs is very clear and very broad and very open as to what profession is, professionalism is. So please, please, please look at that. That is a big part of this class is meeting professionalism standards. And you'll see it doesn't have to do with how you dress. It doesn't have to do with your accent. It doesn't have to do with how fast you do things. It really has to do with public safety, public health, public good, doing your absolute best to follow the rules and the regulations of design so that the end user gets the right thing at the right time in the right format, at the right price, and it is safe. So that's the that's a quick version of professionalism. Um, if you have general questions, right, always get a hold of me. You can get me on Discord. You can get me on, on email. Uh, please be clear. Can you explain? Or I need help with. Those are things that I do very, very well with. So... I to be clear, uh, if I have to guess, uh, I'm not a very good guesser. So the more clear you can be, the better it is. Um, student services, student support, uh, that's all good stuff that we have a lot. And so here's a huge thing for you to be uh, looking at. Be aware of withdrawals. I, I rarely drop somebody unless they just stop coming after week one or week two. Uh, it's not up to me to do drops. Uh, because drops have very specific, if you drop a class, there are very specific outcomes for financial aid, for progress, for all this kind of stuff. So 
So be very careful about uh, if you feel you need to drop a class. Uh, get a hold of financial aid and a counselor and see what's up. So here's a thing to do. Introduce yourself to your colleagues. That's done on... Um, um, on this discussion board. So you can come down here, read how to do it. I've got a video on how to do it if you need to, if you haven't done one of these before. But basically, you'll do a reply. And my hope is that you will do a media recording, which I think is under here, Canvas Studio. Right there, this little plug. And you can go there. And you got to get it all set up and all that kind of stuff. Uh, but you can make... You can make a uh, a video. So that's kind of cool. These are some of the videos that I've made that I've posted. Uh, so so there we go. You can you can look at those and you can make a new one and you can get going on that. I'll discard that. But that's just introduce yourself and and look at what I'm asking for and do that. If you want to do more, you can do more. Uh, but but I want that. And you can do it in bullet points. You can speak in long sentences. You can speak in paragraphs. I'm asking for a video recording. Okay, and then uh, take this preparation readiness thing. Okay, I think I talked about that very briefly before, and you can check it out. And, um, and then once you've done everything, you go to your executive summary and uh, fill it out and submit it. Now, where do you find your executive summary? It's in a template right here. So I'm going to go over that for you right now. So here's your instruction page on what to do. We were just there. Then you can go to your template. And again, it's going to ask you to make a copy. This is your copy to work on in Google Slides. And then you can download it as a PDF later on. This is a very important page. Okay. Um, um, uh, gig employers, bosses, everybody wants to know what you did in a very standardized format. So you'll schedule your hours at the beginning of the week. What do you think you're going to do? And then you'll say what you're going to do. And each of those should have something to do with each of these pages. So you might say slide number two, slide number three, four, five, six, seven, and that you're going to take maybe an hour or two. Okay. And then if you watch the lecture videos, the playlist, uh, assign, did the assignment, you can, you can put X's in these as appropriate. And then turn the screen here. Look, there's a little paint, paint bucket up here. When you submit it on time, turn it green. And you don't have to do this one this week. That'll be later. And then you'll take images that you've posted here and arrange them in a visually pleasing manner on here so that on one page, a boss could quickly and easily find out what it was that you did and do a quick review of it. So once you've got that done, You'll come here and you'll put on images that show you reviewed and understood important features of the Canvas homepage. So you might do something like go to the homepage and go, well, you know what's really important is this. That's really important. So I'm going to take a snip of that and I'm going to put it on there. So watch, that was the snip tool. Control Z, copy, control C copies and uh, here we are right here. I can get rid of this because I'm on my home control. There we go. And I can put that there. And look, we always like to have nice room around the edges. That looks really crummy. Now, if you're really good at design and layout, you might be able to pull that off, but most of us aren't. So you might do that. And you want to annotate this just a little bit, right? To see what this is. So this you might put on something on here. That says that this is. Um, homepage. Instructor. 
contact info. And the more you can have it look cool and look nice, the better it is. And so I might even change that one to have maybe a slightly different color or something like that. And you can put lines around it if you want. Just to just to give it a little bit of pop. So you would do things like that. What else might be interesting on this one? Well, this is certainly important, right? And this is important. And this is so you might have four images on this from the Canvas homepage. One, two, three, four. Annotated so that I can see what it is. Okay. All right, let's see what's next. So then you can go through, look at the Google Calendar, what's important on that. YouTube playlist, make sure that you can efficiently use it. You might want to put in things about, you know, playback speed and audio and all that kind of stuff. Uh, the discussion board, you should make sure that you've demonstrated that you have accessed and been on the discussion board. And since professionalism is important, you should look at that. And then finally... This is what's called the self-certification. If you have read the syllabus cover page, you can turn that green. And if you skipped this one, you would turn it red. But maybe all the rest are green. Okay, now the more that's green, the more closer to four points you're going to get. Right? Uh, and this is a self-certification. Uh you, you need to do this, okay? You need to do all these things so you're going to certify to me that you did them. This is very typical in the design world. So that's how you do that. Okay, then you will file, download it as a PDF. Here it comes in down here. And um, here, when you go to the Canvas submittal page, and let me do it as a student so that you can see what happens. You can start the assignment. Choose a file. Actually, I'm just going to drag that up there. I'm going to drag it and put it right on. There it is. And then you have to make sure that you submit the assignment. Okay, pink. There it goes, and all that confetti means that you did it. And and this is the grading. I always list how it's going to be graded. Okay? Did, on, did you do all of the subject matter? Did you catch all of the significant details? Uh, did it fully demonstrate the proper application of technique and skills? If that wasn't applicable, like this week, you'll get full credit. And it's work clear, concise, focused. So you'll get you'll you'll get this uh, tech done that way. So that's what you do this week. There are no drawing files this week. Normally there would be drawing files, but this week there's nothing. You get ten free points. You don't even have to do start assignment or anything. You just skip it. Okay, and then that's it. That's what's up for this week. This week, now, I'm kind of tricking you. Next week, it's a lot more heavy duty. There's a lot more time. I expect that you will take about two hours to go through the lecture and the videos each week and about um, um, six hours to go through, actually, sorry, four hours to go through the lab work. But then on top of that, you're supposed to be able to practice for an additional four hours. So that's two plus four plus four. I think that's 10. Normally, you should be expecting to spend 10 hours per week on this class. The practice is done so that you get good enough so that you can do the assigned work in the amount of time that's necessary. Okay, so in general you're going to be spending somewhere between 6 and 10 hours a week on this class. Um, let me know if that's going to be an issue for you. Uh, we have to make a plan. 
and I'm not sure what the plan will be. It depends on your situation. We do our very best to help you succeed in the class, but there is a certain level of skill that is expected by the time you get out of this class so that you can do the next classes. So there you go. And that skill in this class is going to be, as we said on the very first uh, one, is going to be on Auto, uh, SketchUp, AutoCAD, and Revit. Okay, so there we go. That's it for this week. You've uh, watched the full length of the pre-recorded videos. And now you're ready to go watch the YouTube playlist and go through the orientation package. Remember that you can um, come in and meet me in Kumo Space on t Wednesday and Thursday. And I will demonstrate whatever you need to have demonstrated. It's best if you write down your questions ahead of time. Let me show you what Kumo Space is like. It's really kind of cool. There's a video on it. And um, here we go. And I think uh, it sends you to my open lab. And that's what my open lab looks like. There's places for you to work. I'll be putting uh, information on the tables for each class. There's a place where I can give you YouTube. You can sit and chat. And it's just WASD or arrow keys, and you can move around and check out who else is in here. All right, there's your design 320 and your design. And you can talk to anybody who is within your circle. So it's kind of a cool place for us to be able to work uh, and and get along. So there you go. Look forward to seeing you in lab on Tuesday or Thursday, uh, Wednesday or Thursday. Or I look forward to seeing your executive summary. Feel free to email me, get me on Discord, wherever it happens to be that you need to get me uh, if you have any questions. All right, adios, folks. Thank you. And I hope you enjoy your semester.